welcome students now we are going to see about the gall bladder so what is gall bladder in tamil the pitta pai nu solluvom see the gall bladder is situated the under surface of the liver see this is the liver the under surface of the liver there is one organ called gall bladder tamil la pitta pai the gall bladder oda function enna it is a storage of bile adhaadu liver la secrete aagakoodiya bile it is stored in the gall bladder and here in the gall bladder what is the main function it concentrates the bile so bile indrathu it is rich in many chemicals idla bilirubin irukum lipoproteins irukum lecithin nu onnu irukum nareya undu or five water irukum bicarbonate irukum ipdi or five chemical compound ala anadhu da bile abindrathu so bile salts irukudhu water irukudhu bicarbonate irukudhu lecithin irukudhu bilirubin irukudhu ella serndha inda bile once it is secreted by the liver or naalikku liver secrete pandrathu kittada 700 to 800 ml bile secrete aagum and the secrete or a bile it is stored by the gall bladder in the gall bladder in what is the function of gall bladder abadina it concentrate the bile so adu lekka kudi water alla absorb pannite adu apdi concentrate panni thick a vechirukom so whenever there is a necessary so epa la vandu intestine la lipid foods or fat foods nam eduthukromo appo adu digest pandradhukku inda bile theva so appo automatically ange indu or signal vanda odane inda gall bladder la rendu bile enna agum through its duct secrete aga aarambikkum so usually the liver la irundhu common hepatic or right hepatic duct and the left hepatic duct idu rendu seindhu idu right idu left hepatic duct rendu seindhu common hepatic duct at the same time in the gall bladder la irundhu or duct varapodu adukku peru cystic duct cystic duct abindrathu it is a duct of gall bladder ipo inda cystic ductum common hepatic ductum join panni da enna varapodu common bile duct in the common bile duct enna pannu it joins with the main pancreatic duct so and the pancreatic duct oda join pannite rendu seindhu duodenathukulla open aayikum ena small intestine da it's a region for complete absorption nu padichom so eppa la fatty meal eduthukromo appa la signal to the gall bladder vanda one bile it secreted through this cystic duct then common bile duct then once again into the duodenum so liver la nu secrete ara entire bile um or passive action moolama gall bladder ku la poi ஸ்டோர் ஆகிக்கும் அங்கேருந்து ஒரு ஆக்டிவ் கண்ட்ராக்ஷன் மூலமாக பயில் இஸ் ரிலீஸ்ட் இன் டு த டியோடினம் வென் எவர் தர் இஸ் அ நெசசரி ஸோ அப்போ இந்த பயிலை ஸ்டோர் பண்ணி வச்சுக்கிறதுக்கு ஹவு த ஸ்ட்ரக்சர் இஸ் அரேஞ்ச்ட் இன்டர்னலி ஸோ வாட் இஸ் த இன்டர்னல் ஃபியூச்சர் ஆஃப் த கேல் பிளாடர் தட் இஸ் த ஹிஸ்டாலஜி ஆஃப் கேல் பிளாடர் இட் இஸ் அ மஸ்குலர் சேக் ஸோ இட் இஸ் அ ஃபைப்ரோ இட்ஸ் அ மஸ்குலர் சேக் அப்படின்றதுனால இட் இஸ் சுச்சுவேட்டட் அட் த அண்டர் சர்ஃபேஸ் ஆஃப் த லிவர் ஸோ வென் it contains only 3 layers nama basically gi tract la paakumbodhu 4 layers paathom inner to outer mucosa submucosa muscularis externa and serosa abdin 4 layer paathom as a abdominal organ and it is also a muscular sac but it consists of only 3 layers one is the first layer is the mucosa this is the innermost layer mucosa so the innermost layer is mucosa then the mucosa resting on the lamina propria then this layer is the muscular externa or muscularis propria and this layer is a serosa this mucosa and lamina propria is going to form the mucosa so the gall bladder is made up of only three layers inner mucosa which is resting on the connective tissue layer called lamina propria next inner ko lamina propria ka adut gi tract la muscularis interna abdin or character ko but here the important feature is the muscularis interna is absent so 
absent of muscularis interna next enadu mucosa ku keela submucosa appdinu or layer paapom but here the submucosa also absent so submucosa also absent so these two important first thing so absent of muscularis interna and the submucosa then what is the lining epithelium the mucous membrane is lined by once again simple tall columnar cells are line the mucous membrane and this mucous membrane is once again going to form folds and this simple epithelial cells so microvilli appearance so due to the microvilli appearance this mucous membrane shows striations so striated appearance of the mucous membrane which is lined by the simple tall columnar cells which shows microvilli and the mucosa is once again thrown into irregular large folds so in the irregular large folds appearance patha eppadi irukna honeycomb appearance then adai nu solvaanga liya and the then cord and adai maadhiri or irregular folds inga form panikidu so inga enna irukada appadina only simple columnar cells irukke oliya there is no goblet cells so important point is no goblet cells mucosa once again thrown into folds and give rise to honeycomb appearance and then one of the important clinical feature and and sometimes this mucosal folds they even deeply formed and even they occupy the muscularis layer so appa deeply form a irukka koodiya mucus folds irundaduna adukku peru rokitansky askoff sinuses sinus nu solvanga so rokitansky askoff sinus அப்படின்னு சொல்லுவாங்க த ப்ரெசன்ஸ் ஆஃப் திஸ் ரொக்கிட்டான்சி அஸ்காஃப் சைனஸ் தட் இஸ் நத்திங் பட் த டீப் மியூக்கஸ் ஃபோல்ஸ் ஈவன் எக்ஸ்டெண்ட் இன் டு த மஸ்குலர் லேயர் இஃப் இட் ப்ரெசன்ஸ் இட் இஸ் த தெர் இஸ் அ ரிஸ்க் ஃபேக்டர் ஃபார் ஸ்டோன் ஃபார்மேஷன் அண்ட் இன்ஃபெக்ஷன் அப்படின்றதுக்காக இந்த இம்பார்ட்டன்ஸ் பற்றி தெரிஞ்சுக்கணும் ஸோ த மியூக்கோஸா இஸ் லைன்டு பை சிம்பிள் டால் காலம்னார் எப்பிதீலியம் விச் சோஸ் மைக்ரோவில்லை தட் கிவ் ரைஸ் டு ஸ்ட்ரையேட்டட் பார்டர் அப்பியரன்ஸ் and the mucosa is thrown into irregular large folds which gives the honeycomb appearance to the mucosa then next to the mucosa there is lamina propria usually in the gastrointestinal tract the lamina propria la important structure ena lymphatic vessels and lymphatic patches nodules irukku nu paathom but here in the gall bladder in the lamina propria see only blood vessels are seen there is no lymphatic vessels that is an important character in the sub in the lamina propria of the gall bladder then the third one is muscularis interna is absent and the submucosa is also absent and the third layer that is the muscular layer this muscularis externa is consist of many collagen fibers and reticular fibers and it consist of some smooth muscle fibers also these smooth muscle fibers are arranged in different orientations in gi tract we'll see about the inner circular outer longitudinal padipom but here there is no such arrangement the muscularis externa contains collagen fibers and some reticular elastic fibers along with its smooth muscle fibers arranged in different orientation this is about the muscular layer of the gall bladder and the last thing is your serosa coat which is lined by the peritoneal layer so the serosa coat particularly the half upper half of the body Uh, this is lined by complete peritoneum in the characteristic feature in the serosa it consists of tough connective tissue also and here you will see large blood vessels also so here you will see large blood vessels also present in the serosa layer these are all the important things you have to know about the gall bladder gall bladder honeycomb appearance of the mucosa why this honeycomb appearance because the mucosa is thrown into large irregular folds what is the lining epithelium the simple tall columnar epithelium which shows microvilli formation that gives striated border appearance then next thing is lamina propria lamina propria is here but there is no lymphatic vessels then next thing is your submucosa 
the muscular is interna that is absent and submucosa that is also absent and the muscular layer there is no characteristic inner circular outer longitudinal here some elastic fibers and collagen fibers along with some smooth muscle fibers are also arranged in different orientation then in the serosa tough connective tissue layer along with it here you can see large blood vessels and nerve fibers also these are all the basic things you have to know about the histology of gallbladder in the next class we will see about the pancreas